UN 영어 뉴스 Seasonal Affective Disorder How the Dark Days of January Shape Your Mood Intelligence and Sex Drive Our behavior and decisions can vary with the changing of the seasons. The trick is to learn to make the most of this natural variation. The Northern Hemisphere may have passed its shortest day, but the winter is far from over. After the sparkle of the holiday celebrations, January can feel like the darkest month for many. It's not just our emotions that are affected. A recent scientific paper published in the journal Perspectives on Psychological Science explores the many ways that the seasons can influence our brains, from our sexual appetites to our intelligence and our social activity. While it is well accepted that creatures like Canada geese or black bears adapt their behavior to the time of year, these subtle variations in human psychology have been far less discussed but they may be essential for understanding our decision-making and well-being. Here are some of the most notable findings to have caught researchers' attention. Mood, the existence of wintertime depression, known as Seasonal Affective Disorder, SAD, is now well accepted. The symptoms include a persistent sadness or anxiety lasting for at least two weeks, a sense of hopelessness and worthlessness, decreased energy, overeating and oversleeping. Many people may experience a subdued mood without meeting all the criteria for a clinical diagnosis of sad. This general melancholia is known informally as the winter blues and the research suggests that it is widely shared. In the early 2010s, researchers from Cornell University in Ithaca, New York, analyzed the content of 509 million tweets from 84 countries. They found a correlation between the change in daylight hours and the emotional content of the posts as the days shortened, users tended to employ fewer positive words. In the dark days, the emotional tone of people's social media posts changes. There are many potential explanations for the winter blues and sad. One pop popular theory is that the reduced light levels interfere with the body's biological clock, known as its circadian rhythm, which can in turn impair the healthy regulation of neurotransmitters involved in emotional processing. This has inspired light therapy which uses special lamps that mimic the sun to recalibrate the body clock. Although a 2019 Cochrane, Cochrane Systematic Review concluded, concluded that the evidence for its effectiveness as a pre preventative treatment was limited. Recent research by the health psychologist Kari Leibowitz suggests that our mindsets may also play a role. Working with Joa Vitorso at the University of Tromso, Leibowitz questioned participants from various regions of Norway about their attitudes to winter. For example, they were asked rate their agreement with statements such as winter is an especially beautiful time of year. 
I love the coziness of winter months, and I like the soft light we have during the winter months. Labor with and a bit so found that people who agreed strongly with these statements tended to cope much better with the cold and the dark, with the higher levels of life satisfaction and more positive emotions in the winter months. A changed mindset certainly cannot be a cure-all for people with severe sad, but labor which suggests that many of us might beat the blues by learning to notice and embrace the positive features of winter, such as the natural beauty that it brings. We know, after all, that mindsets can play a role in many other phenomena. People with anxiety disorders, for instance, are more likely to engage in catastrophizing and other forms of thinking that focus on the most negative and frightening elements of a scenario. Cognitive behavioral thera therapy can help people to take a more balanced view of the situation, leading to an overall improvement in their mental health. There is some evidence this talking therapy can also be useful against sad. Similar strat strat strategies could help lift our spirits in the year's darkest months. Memory and concentration. If you have ever noticed your mental acuity waning with the daylight, you may not be alone. Then, Muldig at Erasmus University Medical Center in Rotterdam, the, the Netherlands, and her colleagues recently analyzed the data from a large longitudinal study of more than 10,000 participants aged 45 and over. They found that those assessed in winter showed slightly worse performance on measures of learning, memory, and concentration compared to those assessed in the summer. We do not yet know the causes of this seasonal variation. The poor cognitive performance may be a, a consequence of people's generally depressed feelings. We find it harder to think straight when we feel blue. Another possibility is that it reflects a wintertime deficit in vitamin D, which is thought to aid brain health. Vitamin D is produced by the body when our skin is exposed to sunlight, and while we can also absorb the nutrient from certain foods, it is very difficult to get enough vitamin D from our diet alone. The short winter days in higher latitudes in particular, combined with less clement weather, means many people can struggle to get enough vitamin D. We get less vitamin D in the winter, which can affect brain health. Probing this underlying mechanism could help scientists to understand why there is a rise in dementia diagnosis, diagnosis over the same period. The slight dip in mental acuity over winter may amplify existing symptoms of cognitive decline, leading more people to meet the clinical criteria for dementia, sociality, and sexuality. We may consider our descriptions of warm and cold behavior to be merely metaphorical, but emerging evidence suggests that these words may reflect ancient associations between ambient temperature and social collection. According to the theory of social thermoregulation, we evolved to look 
towards others. As a source of physical warmth and comfort. In this way, we are similar to emperor penguins and many other creatures that naturally huddle together to share their body heat. If this theory is true, then low temperatures should prompt us to seek a greater social connection. To test this prediction, a team led by Hans E. German at the University, University Grenoble Alpes, France, asked the participants to hold either hot or cold drinks while completing various questionnaires probing the contents of their thoughts. He found that those with cold drinks were considerably more likely to think of close loved ones, people who would fulfill their need for social connection, than those holding the hot drinks. This was provided that the participants did indeed have stable and supportive relationships in their lives, a fact that could not be taken for granted for some participants. Further evidence comes from our film viewing habits. Data from online movie rentals reveals that people are more likely to pick romance films over other genres when the temperature drops, a finding that has been repli replicated in multiple laboratory experiments. A heartwarming movie apparently fulfills our evolved desire for emotional warmth and affection, prompted by the chill outside. Romance can be undermined in the cold. Our sexual activity follows a more complex cycle, according to one study from Villanova University in Pennsylvania and Rutgers University in New Jersey, both in the U.S. Google users are more likely to seek a, por a pornography in the deep midwinter and early summer. They are also more likely to hunt for dating websites. Once again, many factors are likely involved, but it seems reasonable to speculate that the wintertime peak may in part reflect our desire for greater human contact. Whatever the explanation, this variation has real-world health consequences, with further studies revealing a rise and fall in sexually transmitted infections over the same periods. With further research, scientists may identify many more cycles in human behavior that result from the complex interplay of biology and culture. And with this greater knowledge, we can better account for these changes in our own behavior. By cultivating a more positive mindset, forgiving ourselves for the old moments of forgetfulness, and making more concrete plans to fulfill our increased social needs, we can all take steps to beat the winter blues and make the most of the new year.